We have to have salt water flowing through our veins. Sailing is at the very heart and soul of what we do. It's you, the boat, the people you're working with, and nature. A liking for the sea and its lore. That's who we are. Being on the water and the time out here is some of the best experience that I have gotten in any of my time at the academy. Sail straight back. The most valuable week and a half I've had as far as training to become an officer is concerned. Basically are sailing directly into the wind. Helms the lead. Developing leaders of character. There are many programs at the Coast Guard Academy that work towards that goal. Probably the best summer training program that I got to do out of all of them. Hands down, one of those programs most valued by cadets is the Coastal Sail Training Program. The Sail Training Program is what I consider to be the premier leadership training opportunity for the cadets at the Coast Guard Academy. I don't think anybody could have designed a better program to teach cadets the basics about leadership and seamanship. In the Coastal Sail Training Program, five to six second class cadets, along with one or two safety officers, sail from the academy through New England and back to New London. Over the course of 12 days, each cadet assumes a different position on the crew. And in the end, they run the show, responsible for everything from laying down track lines, to purchasing food stores, from maintenance, to cooking, to being in command. Good to just keep it steady there. The size of the sailboat, 44 feet, has proven to be the ideal size for training. They're small enough that they can observe their surroundings, they can take that into account, they have to work with their surroundings rather than just, say, powering through. And the yachts are large enough that it requires teamwork, it requires leadership, it requires coordination uh, to be able to successfully transit either on their day trip or sometimes some little longer runs that they have to do. The timing of the sail training program is perfectly situated in the Cadets Academy experience. Up until that halfway point, I really hadn't had what I'd considered to be a defining leadership experience. And it certainly was a great preparation for my cadre experience, which came right on the heels. It gives you a safe place to practice leadership before you start swap, swap summer. Because these are your classmates, so you're not um, technically given responsibility to training them, but yet you still have to practice leadership within the confines of this team. The goals of the program, to develop leadership, navigation skills, proficiency in sailing, seamanship, and small boat operations. The boat really gives us an understanding for how tides and currents affect us more so than on a regular boat, then especially when you have sails up. It made me realize this is what being an officer is about. It's about getting everyone, just the, the synergy, watching it happen. Like you, It's not that you have to do everything or be an expert at everything. You just have to be able to facilitate everyone else to do their job, to do the skills that they have. They say that leading your peers is the most difficult thing to do. So this gives you an opportunity to work as a team with your peers as well as leading them. I had never really had the practical experience of, of opening up a chart, taking a look at the chart, and saying, you know, this aid to navigation is right there. I'd never really been out at sea in, in a position where I'd actually look at nav lights or listen to whistles. It makes the things you learn in class real. So you, you take nautical science all four years here, but it's sort of theoretical. It's on paper or it's in a book. But when you're on that sailboat, it's right in front of your face. The buoy is like literally right there. And <laughs> it bec all becomes real and you read the chart and all of a sudden things start to click, things start to make sense. Considering the important outcomes of the program, it might be surprising to know that the boats currently being sailed in the Coastal Sail Training Program, boats known as Looters, are now over 40 years old. The Looters were designed in 1939 by Bill Looters. Our current Looters were built in 1965. They're tremendous boats and they have served their purpose extremely well. They're still beautiful yachts recognized all throughout southern New England as the Coast Guard Academy's sail training fleet. But the looters have become tired and uh, they've become a maintenance challenge. So now is the time to uh, replace the boats with a modern, capable, rugged platform 
built to the, uh, the spirit of the durability that the looters were built to uh, 45 years ago. Replacing the looters, upgrading to new boats, is a critical requirement for the Academy and the continued success of the Coastal Sail Training Program. And fortunately, the Academy has partnered with one of the nation's premier boat designers, Pedrick Yacht Designs, to design the new boats. David Pedrick, the company's principal designer, has designed eight America's Cup entries, including two winning boats. The Leadership 44 has been developed as a as a work boat, it's an industrial product. It's styled so it looks like a yacht. It has pleasing aesthetics. Functionally, it's, it's very different. Very high degree of structural safety in the boats, so they're, they're built to a much more robust standard than the kinds of boats that you'd see in the marketplace. From stability and safety to a much higher standard, they're just really good, secure, safe, rugged boats. They're gonna run into each other, they're gonna run into the docks. I mean, the handling is gonna be clumsy. And the boats have been designed and engineered to be forgiving in the way they handle and to stand up to abuse. We can't have boats that are flimsy or sustain damage that would require significant repair because then we are without training platforms and then we have cadets left on the beach. One of the things that I have said here very often to the cadets is that because of the commitment they've given to us at the United States Coast Guard Academy and to the United States Coast Guard that they deserve the very best and we really should provide them the very best boat available and the safest boat and the one that they learn the most from operating. The goal of the Leadership 44 program is to not just replace the four existing looters, but to actually acquire eight new leadership sail training craft, one for each cadet company. And the ability to marry up a boat with a company uh, is a very appealing one, so that the boat and the waterfront becomes a natural extension of Chase Hall and all that is represented in the organization of the cadet corps. Help us make the Leadership Sail Training Craft Acquisition Initiative a reality. Join the other Academy stakeholders in achieving one of the superintendent's top priorities and to help us build the future leaders of the Coast Guard. The Leadership 44 program is one of the most important and certainly the most exciting project ever undertaken at the Coast Guard Academy. These boats have been designed specifically to the Academy specifications and will be the finest sail training vessels of their size anywhere in the world. Designed by internationally renowned naval architect David Pedrick and built by Morris Yachts, one of the finest boat builders in this country, this fleet of state-of-the-art sail training workboats will provide a platform that will serve as a fundamental building block for the cadets' leadership training. But more importantly, the impact of the Leadership 44 fleet will be felt by every single cadet, 100% for the next 15 to 20 years. This is an incredible opportunity to directly improve cadet leadership training and the Academy experience. Explore our website, learn more about the Leadership 44 Project. We hope at that point you'll jump on board and support the Leadership 44 Project generously.